For our final story today, we're going to take a break from our flooding coverage to talk about a disease that's making news throughout ag, and that's African swine fever. After being mostly eradicated by Spain in the mid-90s, only a handful of cases had been reported. But last August, the disease showed up in China, sending waves through the pork industry. Now, U.S. pork producers are finding ways to prepare and hoping the virus doesn't spread any further. In August 2018, an outbreak of African swine fever was confirmed in China. Since then, the disease has also affected parts of Russia, Eastern Europe, and Vietnam. Even though the disease hasn't made it to farms in the U.S., producers are keeping a close watch on how their operations could suffer. The reason why we feel that it's, uh, uh, why it could really be detrimental to U.S. Popu pork population is it would cost about $8 billion uh, that first year alone of what it would do to, to our pork industry, uh, primarily through closing all exports uh, almost immediately, as soon as they would identify uh, that we have it most countries would start banning the imports of U.S. pork. And so with the U.S. exporting about 26% of our product right now, that, that'd be a very big hit. The disease doesn't impact humans, but can be spread to other pigs through infected ticks, contact with wild hogs, or by ingesting contaminated feed. There's no vaccine, and the disease mortality rate is close to 100%. Pigs that have been exposed to the disease are being culled, with China reporting that number at around one million. In the meantime, Dr. Moat has advice for farmers at home. If you, a producer, are using feed or you talk to your feed uh, supplier, uh, make sure they're taking some of these high-risk feed ingredients and that they're sitting on them for a the time being. Uh, they're showing that if you sit on them for a while, uh, the, the, the virus activity can actually decrease, and so that is essentially right now the only way we really have to decrease that risk. The impacts in China are already far-reaching, with fewer pigs meaning higher prices. They've surged almost 20 percent since early March. China is really the largest importer of pork, and so if they are deficit and if prices dictate that they're going to be a price importer, we could see, you know, really the, them pulling a lot from the world market. And while at first glance that may seem like good news for areas like the U.S. that have so far been unaffected by African swine fever, Dr. Schultz cautions there's still too much uncertainty. You know, I, I don't think it's good to look at it as it, it could benefit the market even if it does ramp up our, our pork exports because this, this is a, a tremendous issue for not only China but really the world pork market because it is a demand impacting disease and so borders close, you know, that impacts continuity of business. If the virus continues to spread and the U.S. pork population suffers an outbreak, safeguards will be enacted to ensure farmers are taken care of. We want to make sure people sit tight, knowing that in the past, whenever we've had to come in and, and cull large populations, the government has always had payments of some sort to those producers. So we really want to reiterate that if, if, you do, if there is some sort of an outbreak occurring, we want everybody to sit tight, talk with your vets, have them talk with the state vets. Uh, we don't want to spread this disease because if, if we do get it, we want to be able to control it really quick and try to get a handle on it so we have a very quick chance to eradicate it because after it ships and we move animals around then it's very hard.